All right, I just wanted to make this quick uh, little, I guess, rant or sort of to just uh, just mention something I wanted. To, I just noticed about James White quite a lot. Uh, so whenever you, whenever I watch James White, it seems that he can't seem to put a sentence together without these big, long pauses between each word he, he tries to put out. I was literally heading out the door when I got a Facebook message from Robert Reese, who had just uploaded the video um, of a an encounter that Emilio Ramos had with Jesse Morrell at UNT. Uh, and it was as I was listening to it over lunch, there were just so many teachable moments, I guess would be the term we could use. So many things where Jesse says stuff is, he says stuff that's just, it really, really illustrates why we were saying some of the things we were saying just on the last program. You know, it's, it's weird that this, this kind of very evident cognitive decline in James White, this supposed great debater who is very popular in the Calvinistic uh, worldview, in the Calvinistic camp, but it's kind of funny because I, I actually heard that on uh, Christian News that apparently James White takes Smirnoff every night to help him fall asleep. So I reckon that maybe some of that Smirnoff, because you're, you're taking that every single night. I mean, seriously, if you want to fall asleep, just take some melatonin or take some, you know, some uh, herbs that can help you sleep. Smirnoff, seriously. But I happen to think that maybe this, this Smirnoff drinking every single night, uh, those little habit he has, is probably having an impact on his little cognitive abilities because he prides himself as some kind of great debater. Meanwhile, you know, he struggles to even make up logical points when he debates, you know, atheists or Muslims or, or Roman Catholics. I mean, it really is kind of a joke. When a child is raped, is God responsible and did he decree that rape? If he didn't, then that rape is, a, is an element of meaningless evil that has no purpose. What I'm trying to point out by going to Scripture... So what is your answer there? Because I, I want to understand the answer I'm to that tr question. I'm trying to go to Scripture to answer the Yes, but the what reason, is the answer to the question that the, he just asked so easy, that we can understand what the answer is? I, I, I mentioned to him, yes, because if not, then it's meaningless and purposeless. And though God knew it was going to happen, he created without a purpose. But uh, the reason why I'm pointing that out is because James White... Uh, is highly esteemed, it seems, among the Calvinistic camp. And, and there was one instance where, you know, it seems that whenever Calvinists need to, you know, have somebody defend them, James White is kind of their go-to guy. So it's, it's just funny how they go to the James White, of all people, when it seems like he came and form a proper sentence without forgetting what he's supposed to say or trying to think of what to say. I mean, I do reckon that Smirnoff is taken every single night because, you know, 1 Corinthians 6, verse, uh, I think it's verse 12, talks about, you know, it, it obviously goes against addictions, but he uh, clearly has, I mean, not to mention the fact that many of his Calvinistic buddies are cigar smoking, beer guzzling, uh, cig you know, they, they meet at beer, they have beer parties, they, they uh, get tattoos, I mean, and I do reckon that's starting to have an impact on them. So yeah, I mean, just wanted to point that out about James White uh, and also many of his cigar smoking, smearing off drinking, beer guzzling Calvinistic buddies. So wanted to point that out. Anyway, goodbye. Thank you.